Hello everyone, and welcome to a journey into the fascinating world of lie detection. Now you might think lie detection is just for detectives in dimly lit rooms, but let me tell you, it's a skill we can all benefit from. Every day we're bombarded with information, from news headlines to social media feeds, and frankly, not all of it's entirely accurate. That's why we're going to equip you with the tools to separate fact from fiction. Over the next few chapters, we'll be exploring techniques used by experts from analyzing body language cues to understanding the psychology of deception. Don't worry, it won't be some dry lecture. We'll keep it engaging, informative, and maybe even a little bit fun. Because let's be honest, spotting a lie is incredibly satisfying. It's like finding a $20 bill in your old jeans pocket, except instead of finding money, you're finding the truth, which let's face it, is far more valuable. So buckle up, grab your detective hats, and let's get started. They say the eyes are the windows to the soul, but when it comes to spotting lies, the body is basically a giant flashing neon sign. Learning to read body language cues like fidgeting, avoiding eye contact, or even subtle changes in breathing can provide invaluable insights into someone's truthfulness. Remember that game we played as kids, telephone? As a story gets passed around, it changes, details get muddled, and suddenly, the quiet kid who loves dinosaurs is apparently a chain-smoking rebel. The same goes for lies. Pay close attention to the details, the timeline, and any inconsistencies that might pop up. It's often in these discrepancies that the truth unravels. Cross-questioning isn't just for lawyers and courtrooms, it's a powerful tool for anyone seeking the truth. By asking pointed, specific questions, you can expose inconsistencies and force someone to elaborate on their story. Think of it like gently poking at a suspicious-looking molehill. You might just uncover a whole network of deceptive tunnels underneath. Imagine you have a friend who always orders the same thing at a restaurant a chicken Caesar salad, no onions, dressing on the side. Now one day they order a triple cheeseburger with extra bacon. That's a deviation from their baseline behavior, and it might raise a few eyebrows. The same principle applies to lie detection. Our intuition is like a sixth sense, a subconscious alarm bell that goes off when something doesn't feel right. While it's not foolproof, it's important to pay attention to those gut feelings. They're often based on subtle cues we pick up on unconsciously, like micro-expressions or vocal inflections. From polygraph tests to voice stress analysis, technology has provided us with some fascinating tools for lie detection. While not always admissible in court, these tools can offer intriguing insights into physiological and psychological responses associated with deception. Professional lie detectors, like interrogators and behavioral analysts, employ a range of psychological tactics to uncover the truth. These techniques, such as building rapport, using open-ended questions, and observing verbal and nonverbal cues, can be surprisingly effective in eliciting confessions or uncovering inconsistencies. We've covered a lot of ground today, from reading body language to understanding the psychology of deception. Remember, becoming a truth sleuth is an ongoing process. It requires practice, observation, and a healthy dose of skepticism. So the next time you're faced with a suspicious story or encounter someone who seems less than truthful, put these techniques to the test. Don't be afraid to ask questions, observe closely, and trust your instincts. You might be surprised at what you uncover. And hey, if you find yourself getting really good at this, you can always apply to be on a reality TV show about lie detection. You know, the ones where they hook people up to machines and analyze their every blink. Those seem to be all the rage these days. But until then, stay curious, stay vigilant, and as always, thanks for watching.